Do you know what the C-suite and a treadmill have in common? Both can keep you running, that's right. But you are still at the same spot. Get ready, go get us to run with me, Amir, not on the treadmill, but towards your leadership excellence inside the Nair narrative, the ultimate podcast that will guide you up the corporate ladder with a touch of humor and a lot of expertise. In each exciting episode, we'll dive headfirst into the fascinating signs of success, unravel the secrets of effective leadership, and decode the art of skyrocketing your career. We're here to transform your journey to the top from that never-ending sprint on a treadmill to a strategic marathon that brings lasting success. So buckle up as we turn the wheel of ambition into the roadmap for success. Stay tuned and welcome to the Nair Narrative. Hello leaders, I'm your host Amir and welcome to episode 4 of the Nair Narrative. In our last episode, we dwelt into the intricacies of good and bad strategy and how to diagnose the situation at hand. We also talked about Hoshin Khanri philosophy to use as our guide. If you missed it, don't worry, you can always go back and give it a listen. In today's episode, we're going to explore what propels a strategy into action. We'll break it down into three crucial aspects, focus, principles, and foresight. So let's dive right in. Do you remember the famous story from the Mahabharata? It was a day of examination for the princes of Hastinapur. Their wise teacher Dronacharya was testing their skills at shooting arrows. He had a clay bird placed on the highest branch of a tree. The pupils were supposed to shoot at the eye of the bird. One by one, the prince came forward. The teacher asked each one the same question. What do you see? Each one replied, Gurudev, I can see the bird, the tree, my brothers. I can see you. Drona did not allow them to shoot and asked them to stand aside. When it was Arjuna's turn, Dronacharya asked him the same question. He answered, I can see the bird's eye. Then shoot at once, ordered Drona. Arjuna's arrow flew from the bow and pierced the left eye of the bird. Drona remarked, Arjuna always manages to get his target because he sees only what he aims to shoot. As leaders, you are constantly bombarded with decisions and tasks. However, the real power lies in choosing what to focus on. Don't be like that astrologer who was so busy gazing at the stars, trying to decipher the future that he stumbled onto a muddy pothole right in front of him. Lack of focus on priorities can cause you to stumble over what truly matters. Next up, let's talk about principles. Principle serves as a moral compass for everything you do. They guide you in making ethical decisions and help build trust with stakeholders. Take for instance Patagonia, the renowned clothing and outdoor gear brand. They revolutionized the adventure and outdoor clothing industry while pioneering corporate consciousness and sustainability. One of the key principles driving their founder Yvonne was the impact of their work on the planet. They don't just make eco-friendly or biodegradable products, and they're not a non-profit organization. Yet, they are known as one of the top planet-conscious brands because everything they do is driven by the principles of doing good for the planet. Patagonia doesn't encourage customers to buy more, nor do they hide or downplay the environmental impact of their manufacturing process. They openly share it. They aren't obsessed with market share or revenue growth, Instead, they measure and actively address their manufacturing impacts, water consumption, energy usage, waste, carbon emission, and the distance traveled for their projects. They also fund organizations and campaigns dedicated to a positive planet impact. In Yvonne's words, they will never be able to make a totally sustainable, non-damaging product. 
but it is committed in trying to do so. When your strategy aligns with your principle, it facilitates consistency in decision making, reduces conflict and propels you forward in a particular direction. Now, let's shift our focus to trends. Staying updated on industry trends and anticipating future development is essential for every leader and business. Whenever we discuss staying ahead of the curve, it's hard not to mention Steve Jobs. He is remembered for his iconic innovative products you know, that came to life because he could anticipate customer needs even before they realized it themselves. He reshaped the music industry, the mobile phone industry, the movie industry. He also transformed the publishing industry with iBook and media subscription services. This was all possible because he had a vision for how technology, people and time could converge. You may not be a tech entrepreneur, but in today's world, staying aloof from technology is practically impossible. Trends, especially in tech, marketing, consumer behavior, emotional needs are like road signs that signal what lies ahead. By monitoring trends and forecasts, you can spot opportunities and threats early on. This knowledge empowers you to adapt your strategy and stay ahead of the curve. It's about being proactive rather than reactive. And that can be a significant source of power in the business world. So, in summary, focus keeps your effort aligned with your strategic goals. Principles provide you the moral and behavioral compass. And staying informed about trends empowers you to adapt and thrive in a changing environment. These are indeed powerful sources of success in strategy execution. That wraps up for today's episode of the Naya Narrative. I hope you found inspiration and valuable insights that can accelerate your career and leadership journey. As I, Amir Nair, sign off for today, I leave you with this quote by Jack Welch. In real life, strategy is very straightforward. You pick a general direction and implement it like hell. Thank you for tuning in and until next time, keep learning with focus, guided by your principles and with an eye on the trend that shapes the future. And that is a wrap on another episode of the Nair Narrator. I hope you're feeling better equipped and energized to slay your corporate dragons. If you love historical fictions and short stories, why not dive into my book? The link to buy them is in the episode description. And please join my paid community of over 200 experts and grow with Amir. Let's accelerate your journey together. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast. And leave a 5-star rating and review if you enjoyed our time together. Let's keep the conversation going. Share your key takeaways on this episode on LinkedIn at Amir Nair. I would love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, keep reaching for your greatness. This is your host Amir signing off from the Nair Narrative. Remember, your journey to the C-suite starts with stepping out of your comfort zone. So meet me in the next episode to get a little more uncomfortable.